You're listening to the Ecosystem Approach Show. I'm Jason. And I'm Patricia. Tune in every Monday at 1 p.m. Pacific Time and 4 p.m. Eastern Time on Transformation Talk Radio. We discovered that human potential is severely limited when you program humans like a machine, which is standard practice today for self-improvement. The ecosystem approach teaches you how to uncover your infinite potential by using natural methods that are truly revolutionary. Join us now for the ecosystem approach show. Do you ever feel like an imposter? Imposter syndrome is a real thing. And today we'll talk about whether the idea of fake it until we make it really works to overcome imposter syndrome. If you have ever felt like an imposter, stay tuned. This is, um, this is going to be interesting. We are married intuitives with over 20 years experience who created the ecosystem approach for you. This is much different because we see human beings as ecosystems that need to be restored instead of programmed. We show you how to take an energy approach for internal discovery that is rational, practical, and useful for everyday life. Okay, Jason, can you tell the audience what is imposter syndrome? So the classic um, definition is basically a feeling of unworthiness and shame that you'll be found out that somehow as you go about your work or your daily life, okay. that you're not really, um, you're getting credit for being something that you're not. And or that, doing a job that you don't know. Yes. That kind of thing. Yes. In other words, it's a huge facade. Yes. Okay. Um, and so, so a little bit for the, for the geeks out there, you know, it was, <laughs> it was first identified in 1978 by psychologists and they, they, listed some ways that it's manifested. For example, oh, okay. perfectionists mm. who set really high expectations for themselves and they never can quite meet those expectations. Okay. Experts who need who feel like they need to be an expert at something before they can they can um, manage it or present it or... Um, oh, I know so many people like that. Yes. Yeah. You know, the natural genius who says everything should come easy to me. And if they have to work for it, oh. then, then they, they must be doing something wrong. Right. The soloists um, who feel they have to accomplish everything on their own. So right. if, if, if I've got 10 people helping me, I can't, I can't get any credit for myself because yeah. I, I didn't do it by myself. Oh. And then, of course, the one that I kind of relate to for you, sweetie, is the Superman or Superwoman. Right. You know, you're a super, my, my wife's <laughs> Superwoman. And, um, Thank and, you, dude. And, and they, I think. <laughs> yeah, but but the, when you feel like an imposter is that you have, to, you have to work harder than anybody else to prove yourself. You, it's, it's like you're never, it's never good enough. Right. You know, um, um, so, so, you know, those are just, just some interesting uh, backdrop to imposter syndrome. Okay. Um, here's the big thing, and this is especially relevant today, okay. that there's a lot of structures and organizations mm. that have a structure where um, people of color, women um, um, have biases they don't have the biases, but the structure they deal with the structure of bias. Yes, yes. That have a structure that right. um, um, makes it difficult for them to succeed in a workplace. Yeah. You know, um, women, um, people of color. That's correct. Um, and, and it's built in, you know, if all the bosses are white males, mm -hmm. it doesn't, it doesn't feel like there's a lot of opportunity for someone who's, who's female or, right. or otherwise. Right. And even if there's a few scatterings of, of African Americans, females, whatever. Yep, those those at times, and they they look and feel like they're the token um, black person well, in the room, that kind of thing. Exactly. Yeah. So, so that, um, um, and and we know that that exists, but mm -hmm. this show isn't about that. Oh, okay. And a lot of times, people say, okay, this is wrong. This this sure. this is this shouldn't be this way. Sure. And they want to change um, the structure. Okay. And we don't object to that, but the shortcut, 
And this is what we're talking about today is that when you change yourself internally, because, because what we see is the imposter syndrome comes from unworthiness that's based on your emotional story. That's right. That's, that's an energy yes. that's attached to your essence. Well, okay. Yes. And, and, um, and, and so let me finish the thought. Okay. okay. So if you change internally, then you can go out into these structures that are unfair and have a, have a, um, a chance. Well, okay. because that, there'll be an internal confidence there that, um, yes. that you can confront some of these unfair structures. Well, and, and, and what I, what I was going to add to that is that when you're trained from very young that you have no value or this is the only avenue you get to go in yes. that's all because you're a woman or you're black or you're um someone of Native, color Native we'll american yes you know, exactly. there's all sorts of possibilities exactly then uh, there's this part that basically says well why bother yeah because well if that's the only way it's going to be and um, so, yeah, this is this is a tough one. This is a, a tough one. I'm actually glad we're doing this show today, Jason. Well, and so, so most fixes, if you if you Google it, and I always do this for a show because I I like to get the counterpoint. Because he's a geek, everybody. <laughs> we'll we'll go with that. I, one. I like the counterpoint, and <laughs> and so I can argue against it. Yes, which is, I love it. You know, most most self help for um, posture syndrome is some form of um, logic to try and talk yourself out of that feeling. Oh. Now, now, as a man, I gotta say this. Okay. As a man, I know this doesn't work because I've tried to talk um, the, the females of my life um, out of their emotions and that's really stupid. And if you're if you're a man out there listening, you know, um, good one. Well, yeah, yeah, yeah. Go yeah, ahead, yeah, knock your head yeah. against the wall. Let us know how that works yeah, for yeah, you. Exactly. But, but the bottom line is, is that we know that the ecosystem approach works because, well, I'm probably one of the most emotional people that Jason has ever known, and it works. It works because when you change, and this is what I was going to say earlier, when you change the energy of whatever um, is going on and you change from when you change the energy then you can actually change how you perceive yourself it's it's awesome it's unbelievable how well, that happens and when you change how you perceive yourself um, then you can you can have an authentic feeling of confidence Oh, and, and and the confidence happens naturally. You know, I think this is the best story okay. um, um, that to to illustrate this is that that we're both Linda Ronstadt fans. Yes. You know, oh, yeah. um, it's been she's been one of your favorite artists since since for, forever, way back. Yes. Yes, yes. and um, she's an amazing singer. She has a she, voice. She has a voice. But she's done. Um, she's done so many genres. Yeah, you know, she's done uh, Pirates and Penzance, which is this opera. Opera. She's right. done um, the the Mexican love songs. Yes. In in Spanish. It, yes. And yes. she's Fluent. yes. She's done the Norse Nelson Riddle, which oh, is yeah. like the '40s and '50s songs. Yes. That's my, kind of my personal favorite. Um, and but she's also done the rock. She's done. Um, I was going to say punk rock. That's not true. Yeah. She's done rock. She's done folk um, and and um, and and the ballads, the the, the country ballads. and country. Yeah, I'm, I actually first came upon her when she was doing country music, and I was in awe. It, it's really amazing. Yes, but here's here's the point. Okay. Okay. She struggles with imposter syndrome, and we've we've been watching some of some um, documentaries about her right. lately. And one of the things that that they said was that um, um, she didn't believe she was a good singer. Right. You know, think about it. You know, if you're listening right now, if anybody should have huge amounts of information that says you're not an imposter, and logic, you're amazing, yeah, yes. you know, and there's 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 those objective data and criteria, you Absolutely. know, she's been top of the charts and, yes. and you know, been very Three successful. All, all with, yes. um, at one time with different um, genres. So if Amazing. you can talk yourself out of imposter syndrome, she should have been able to, right? right. You know, that's my point. Exactly. And what uh, our point is for, for, for this segment, and we're going to talk about this some more, but um, imposter syndrome is not logic. Yeah. It doesn't come from something you can talk yourself out of. 
um, it's an energy. Yes. And, and it's what we do. You can clear that energy. Right. Um, you know, imagine some of the examples that we talked about. If you want to need to present yourself in a, in a, in a, for a job interview. Right. You know, you don't ever feel that confidence. No. That's an energy. Well, and, and wait a minute. I have, to, I have to jump in here and say, um, when you have to present yourself and, and you know, you're in a room full of um, 10 or um, uh, 100 people, um, one of the best things to get over on yourself is to say, picture everyone in their underwear. Yeah, but that kind of, wait a minute. Yeah. And, but that's a patch on not removing the, the negative right. energies. That's the hard part because you still have that negative energy that says, I'm not good enough. And the only way you get rid of that is using the ecosystem approach That's right. and clearing it. That's and right. And using an energetic technique to get rid of it. Exactly. You know, on a first date, it's always imposter syndrome. <laughs> a presentation. You know, <laughs> I hadn't even thought of that one. Yeah. <laughs> you know, a presentation. It's been a while since I've been on a first date. Yeah. And if you're not struggling with imposter syndrome right now, if it's not in your face, if it's right. not something that you have to do right now, don't wait because... Um, when you can start affecting that energy, it's going to take a while. Correct. It's not something you can, it's not a, a like you said, it's not a patch. Exactly. It's you know? not a patch. It's, and it's, you can't talk yourself out of it. That's not going to work. All those things. Exactly. So um, Jason, what are the key points of this segment? Imposter syndrome is a feeling of unworthiness and shame that says you're undeserving. Mm -hmm. You can't talk yourself out of negative feelings. They are energies and they need to be cleared. Yes. And there's no logic to imposter syndrome. No one deserves to have it. Exactly. And the ecosystem approach teaches you to create an authentic, natural feelings that will help you have real, authentic confidence. I love that. In the next segment, we're going to talk about what to do when the structure around you is set up to discredit you. And, and by the way, I have a story about this one next. Um, and reinforce feelings of being an imposter. An imposter. Good heavens. This is the Ecosystem Approach Show with Jason, and I'm Patricia. You're listening to Transformation Talk Radio. This is the Ecosystem Approach Show with Jason, and I'm Patricia. And in this segment, we're going to talk about what to do when the structure around you is a setup to discredit you and then reinforce feelings of being an imposter. We are married intuitives with over 20 years experience who created the ecosystem approach for you. It is much different because we see human beings as ecosystems that need to be restored instead of programmed. We show you how to take an energy approach for internal discovery that is rational and practical and useful for everyday life. Okay. Jason, what do you mean by the structure that is set up to discredit you? Okay. And in this case, we're not talking about like an organization or, okay. or a culture, Okay. but we're talking about, you know, and this is from, from grade school, mm. to, we're set up to meet a standard. So we sit there in kindergarten <laughs> and, and the teacher says, these are your ABCs. Mm -hmm. And then if you learn your ABCs, the way she taught to them, taught you to, taught them to you mm -hmm. and you give it back to her, then you've met the standard. And if you don't, you exactly, don't. exactly. And then when you don't meet the standard, there's rejection. You did yeah. something wrong yeah. and there's shame. You yes. did something wrong. Right. The ecosystem approach. And we call that programming. Right. So I'm, I'm telling, I'm talking to you from the beginning. This mm -hmm. is, this is the beginning of, of where the imposter syndrome comes from mm -hmm. is because we have a programming view in our culture where right. we're programmed to, to, to meet the standard. Yes. And if we don't meet that standard, then we're discredited, we're rejected, Correct. we're abused, mm -hmm. um, mm -hmm. um, we're pushed aside. And it, with the ecosystem approach, we take a, is much different. We take a, a natural way to, to restore your ecos your, your ecosystem, which right. is your essence. Right. And in your essence, we see that there's a natural form of confidence that's sustainable right. and unlimited. Right. So when you're being who you are authentically, confidence comes naturally. Yes. You know, and, um, and once you do that, you, 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 you restore that ecosystem for yourself, and it's easy for you to accept other people who are different than you because you see that, oh, I'm who I am, and those people are who they are. So 
I'm just going to throw this out there. I know it's not the subject, but what you're saying, if I'm if I'm hearing you correctly, you're saying that those that are biased or prejudiced or racist or um, uh, believe that the only way is the old way is that's programming. Yes. That creates that. Yes, it is. Uh -huh. And so the opposite of that. So if you're listening and you're, you're a woman, a person of color, yes. um, part of the um, LGBTQ community, right? Exactly. you know, that um, you were rejected because you didn't meet a standard Right. And that standard will, you know, and you, you can make, this is, we're getting really into cultural issues here, which is not what we're trying to talk about today, but no. um, there's a standard that you should be um, 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 heterosexual, you should be um, white. white. And, and if you're not, then you, then you're somehow rejected, pushed aside. Yes. And, oh, that, and, and if you're not a man, it's the same thing. You're rejected and pushed aside. Right. Exactly. So, so you know, by definition, some of those groups have imposter syndrome from the very beginning. Right. Yeah. Oh, you know. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Absolutely. And this is a good time for your, your my story. story okay. That. So, um, you know, and I know we've talked about our stories and all of those things, but the bottom line is, is that I knew that I was different from the word go as soon as my mother told me that what I saw, she saw, and by the way, she had the ability to, but I was never to talk about it to anyone. And so I always walked around kind of wondering, well, uh, you know, what do I do with this difference? I see all these things, but they're not, I'm not supposed to talk about them. Right, so and I'm curious about them. I'm, I must be weird. I must, I must be, weird. be an imposter. I must be an imposter. In other words, then I had to start putting on the front mm -hmm. of being normal i would say would be the way i would have thought about it and by the way everyone this started for me when i was like six years old six or seven five six seven and so i i i couldn't tell anyone and i have to tell you it just reinforced the programming that was was out there saying i had to be like everyone else and i have to tell you the struggles that I have gone through have been, uh, you know, I, I, too many to even talk about. But one of the best things ever was when I met Jason and we started talking about all the things that we both knew and, you know, um, uh, what could we do with this and what do you think about that, that kind of thing. The most amazing thing was I realized when I, my, and I started doing the clearing, things started just coming up about who I was and my abilities that I had. And the thing that was the most amazing for the first time in all of my life, I realized I wasn't crazy, there was that, but also that this ability that was a gift from the creator from life force well it was natural to you just it like was all natural. sorts of talents and exactly. abilities of people out there that are listening exactly right now. and the thing that was the most amazing when i finally realized that this was something that i could do to not only help myself but to help others i can't begin to tell you the weight that it took off of my shoulders well and and the, and the truth is that this has been a problem for both of us yes i mean no one grows up and wants to be an intuitive you know <laughs> and and there's no there's no fairy tales about you no, know no. um you know i i'm i wish i could be intuitive when i grow up yeah oh know? yeah and no, we're not even suggesting that that you know we're not even trying to create a path behind us for other intuitives what we're saying is, is that um this is a great example because a lot of times when people are become aware of the political and organizational structures yes, yes, yes. that suppress them and make them feel bad about themselves, exactly, um, they want to fight that. They want to fight that organization right. and fight that structure. Mm -hmm. And and so the truth for us is that we've always been kind of um, outcast because of our intuition. Exactly, we see the world so much differently. We have perceptions and um, we see. Um, we see things and subtleties that most people don't see. Exactly. And um, the way we've dealt with that is not by pounding our chest or trying to change <laughs> the rest of the world. No. What we've done is um, 
we have this, this sense inside of us, this confidence that comes from t- removing the negative energy. That's correct. And having a natural confidence yes. that I got this. Yes. I know who I am. So if you believe in this stuff or don't, I don't care because, <laughs> because I know it works. I know it's true. Right. And um, um, so I don't feel like an imposter. Right. I just go out there and, and we both do that. It, and that's the difference. It is. It's, it's not that the world has validated us. It's it's that we validated ourselves. Exactly. So if you're in a in an organization or a company or mm-hmm. um, um, a structure that okay. is is pushing on you and you, and you feel oh my gosh you know I feel like an imposter you know um, I'm not called on I'm not um, I, I'm not listened to you know people. Tr- um, use a tone of voice with me that's different than other people right you know um, um, if you if you try and fix what's outside of yourself you're gonna be hitting your head against the wall for a long time exactly if this is speaking to you right now though mm-hmm. it's the ecosystem approach can can help you heal from the inside out well, and, and, and that's the that's the true antidote to the imposter syndrome exactly and the imposter syndrome by the way, I can guarantee you everybody, it has affected everyone that's out there listening today and even those that aren't listening today. So if, if you're touched by this, go to yeah. our website right yeah. now. Give me a chance to do the plug. Oh. Go to our website right now, theecosystemapproach.org right. and sign up for our free section. You get the clearings every week that are written out for you mm-hmm. and a little backstory to the topic. And um, people love love our, our weekly newsletter. And the only way you can get it is to go there and sign up right now. So, I love it. So do that. I love it. And because all of us at some point feel like imposters. Absolutely. And, you know, it's time to stop feeling like an imposter or even being an imposter, meaning it's, you're, it's so far gone. The bottom line is, is that you can authentically be who you are and still live your life easily and this practically is, so this is what we see for those of you that are still saying oh my gosh i got to change the structure i got to change the way the way things uh, are when there's a critical mass of people who have authentic confidence that comes from in here mm-hmm. not that it's created out there but coming from in there the 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 structures will change more easily so in mm. other words oh if, that's a good point if you have racism um, or sexism that's built into our structure. Mm-hmm. If you change the energy and you do that by having a critical mass of people have changed on the yeah, inside, yeah, yeah. then then that societal change will happen more easily. The reason we're having so much pushback today mm. is because people aren't aren't better on the inside. They're actually worse on the inside. Yeah. And that change is becoming more and more difficult. So um, Jason, what are the key points of this segment? Our life training and programming creates conditions of shame and imposter syndrome. Mm -hmm. The imposter syndrome is an energy problem, not a thinking problem. And you need to clear the energy to overcome that imposter syndrome. Okay. And the imposter syndrome comes from your personal emotional story. And the best clearings are specific to that story. Mm -hmm. And the ecosystem approach teaches you to identify your emotional story and how that creates the energy of the imposter syndrome. And how to get rid of it. Yes. In the next segment, we're going to talk about the way you can approach developing authentic and lasting confidence for yourself as the best antidote to imposter syndrome. This is the Ecosystem Approach Show with Jason and Patricia, and you're listening to Transformation Talk Radio. This is the Ecosystem Approach Show with Jason and I'm Patricia. In this segment, we're going to talk about the way you can approach developing authentic and lasting confidence for yourself as the best anecdote. Am I saying that right? Okay, anecdote to imposter syndrome. We are married intuitives with over 20 years experience who created the Ecosystem Approach for you. This is much different because we see human beings as ecosystem systems that need to be restored instead of programmed. We show you how to take an energy approach for internal discovery that is rational, practical, and useful for everyday life. Okay, Jason, I thought the way you created lasting authentic confidence is, well, 
to act as if or fake it until you make it. Um, something tells me I'm not right, everyone. Um, this, you know, or just use logic to explain yourself why you should have confidence. None of that's true, huh? So, and, and sorry, it was the antidote so that if, if, if the imposter syndrome was a virus, okay, this is the antidote. Got it. You know, um, and um, um, hmm. we understand that if, if you've tried faking it till you're making or acting as if, and it didn't work. Mm -hmm. And every job I had until this one. Yeah. And, and maybe you um, just figured out that, well, it must be me. If I'm trying to fake it and I'm not doing a very good job, then it must be me that I'm so flawed that um, it's not working out. True. And that's not true at all. Here's the, here's the truth of it. Acting and faking is, does not change the energy. No. So we see that having authentic confidence means removing the, the, the emotional story, mm. those things in your past that say you're not good enough, right? Whether it's in your family, mm -hmm. whether it's in school, whether it's in your life somehow that where you were discredited or right. you know, you're being yourself and someone said, oh, that's, you're not doing it to standard. You're not programming yourself the way you're supposed to. Exactly. And um, then, then you're bad. Yeah. Um, that's a negative energy that gets attached to you. Mm -hmm. And the way you overcome imposter syndrome is to remove that negative energy. Mm -hmm. And that's what we teach you with the ecosystem approach. Got it. Um, so if you've lost the idea of what real confidence looks like or how to get it, it comes from removing the negative energy and the negative stories okay. um, from your authentic self, your essence. Right. And, um, and then the confidence that you have is not something that um, you have to fake or no, it just act. is. It, it yeah. just is. It just and comes it, out. It, exactly. And it doesn't come out as I'm the greatest, you know, yeah, yeah, yeah. That's, That's usually ego. Definitely. Yeah. Absolutely. The confidence, you know, I, I do have a, another little tiny story. Um, I, in, in my time, in my work career, I happened to be one of the very first um, professional cake decorators that Baskin Robbins ever had. And um, I, I always felt, oh, it wasn't good enough. It I wasn't, you know, that is, oh, I could have done better, that kind of thing. And by the way, um, uh, cake decorating on an ice cream cake is a little bit different than it is a real cake, but it sure is fun. I'm getting hungry. So he's make, getting hungry. Get, get, <laughs> this story, point. get this story. Quickly, anyway, yeah. <laughs> the point that I'm getting at is, is that I never felt good, uh, good enough that I had done a good enough job the whole time I was doing it. Um, and I believe I worked for him for at least three years and I should have stood back and looked because everybody that came to work for Baskin Robbins, you know, the young kids that, you know, scooped ice cream, they all wanted me to show them how to do it. And I never saw that as being, wow, they think I'm good enough. Yeah. And so I was always feeling unworthy. And so if that unworthiness that came from your yes. story, your story of how you grew up, exactly. where you were the black sheep, yes. if you if we had been done doing the clearings earlier, oh, yes. you know, at this time of your exactly. life, you know, it doesn't happen overnight. It's not a quick fix, it's not like taking a pill. Right. You know, but if you can start removing these negative energies, these negative stories, yeah. you know, um, one of the, one of the stories about Linda Ronstead, again, mm -hmm. we were talking about her, Earlier, that she, yeah. um, this was in the, one of the documentaries that if she was in a concert and someone in the front row leaned over and, and, and spoke Lis some, yeah, like whispered, that. yeah. They, she thought they were talking about her in a way that's saying she, they don't like her music. They don't like her voice. Oh. And she presumed that. Now, if you know the story about Linda Ronstead, she now has Parkinson's disease. She's oh, still I'm alive. so sorry to hear that. But I guarantee you her shame and her imposter syndrome right. that she had about um, that she never felt like she was a good singer oh. is related to the Parkinson's disease. And right. what happens is your emotional story, if you don't take care of it, it gets in your way. It gets in your way in all sorts of ways in your life. Oh, absolutely. Um, whether it's imposter syndrome or all, uh, you know, physical illnesses and exactly. diseases, it doesn't exactly. matter. They're all related. Exactly. And you know, that's, it's so sad. Um, I, I have to say it's so sad that, you know, Linda Ronstadt is not the only person who has had imposter syndrome. And it, it, um, it's something that, well, I, I, I mean, I've had it. And the bottom line is, is that um, 
just to be able to listen to her voice and how amazing she is still to this day is phenomenal to me. Well, and the, the point we're trying to make for you, if you're listening right now or watching, is that if you have these feelings of unworthiness, right. it's on the inside, they're energies and, and they're part of your emotional story. And they can be cleared. They can be cleared. And, and then it, you can be that authentic, whoever you want to be. And it's not a quick fix. It doesn't no. happen overnight. No. And some of our stories are more horrific than others. Of course. A lot of us don't even realize how horrific our stories are. It's true. It's true. And so, but so it's time to start today. Yeah. Do it right now. Yeah. You know, again, go to our website, theecosystemapproach.org and sign up for that free section. It's really, really important. And we're going to tell you how to clear right now. Mm -hmm. We should try well, to do the key points. Yeah. Let's do the key points yeah. first, okay. Jason. Okay. So Jason, what are the key points? The first step is to understand your emotional story, mm -hmm. how it's related to your imposter syndrome. Mm -hmm. The energy of essence is innately confident um, but programming teaches us to vo avoid essence and go to act as if. Correct. And clearing helps you remove the unworthiness and shame connected to imposter syndrome. Mm. And the ecosystem approach teaches you to know your story and clear your story to overcome the imposter syndrome. I want to say one thing about that. When you start clearing your story, a lot of feelings of guilt and shame and, you know, why didn't I see this and why didn't I see that? they it comes up but through the clearing you see that that was your story and that was your journey then and when you get rid of that stuff when you change the energy about it yeah you see it from a completely different perspective that says well okay this is where i am today and i can go forward yeah it's awesome Yes, 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 yes. So Jason, um, let's teach everyone how to do the clearing. So um, you don't have to sit in a special special way. You can sit, stand, lay down, mm -hmm. you can be walking, you can be driving, mm -hmm. um, it doesn't matter. And in your mind's eye and your imagination, and when we say to eliminate, then there's an action, you know, it's or, or there's a noun, there's barriers, there's veils okay. and illusions, there's specific emotions. Correct. So gather those th specific things up in your mind's eye and blow them into the processor. Livia's gonna put the processor up right now and show you what it looks like. Uh -huh. and you kind of and, memorize and that, that image. Exactly, and if she doesn't, um, that's okay too. Thank you, Olivia, for all your help. But um, use a garbage can. Use the image of a garbage can. Yeah. You know, if you don't have a, if you're driving and there's no garbage can there, you know, make a garbage can in your mind's eye and put it there. Or, or if you've seen the processor in your mind's eye, use the processor. Exactly. Exactly. It's that simple. It is, and it, it it's it's um, it, that can be a challenge in itself, but you know, have fun with it. Just mm -hmm. have fun. So, um, and then what we're going to do is we're going to activate life force energy. Life force energy is the most powerful healing, amazing energy that any of us has access to. And when you, by the way, when you start using the ecosystem approach, your access to that life force energy becomes more familiar and easier um, and kinder to you. I'm going to yes. say it that way. But anyway, what we're going to do is then we're going to activate it and we're going to have call upon it. It's going to come in through the top of our head. It's going to go all the way down to the tips of our toes. And of course, our arms as well. And then we're going to stop it at the tips of our toes. We don't want negative energy going into the ground. We've got enough of that going on. Not right now, what we want to do is we want to turn it around and we're going to um, pull that negative energy back up by using life force energy and throw it into the processor, the garbage can, whatever you want to do. When it goes in there, it does not come out. So you're not polluting and you're helping you and the entire environment. So um, anything else that we want to say no, about that? Good. All right, here we go. Um, stay tuned. When we come back, we're going to do some clearing to help you overcome imposter syndrome. And you're going to get to clear and get, you're going to get clearer about your emotional story. This is the Ecosystem Approach Show with Jason and Patricia, and you're listening to Transformation Talk Radio. This is the Ecosystem Approach Show with Jason and I'm Patricia. In this segment, we're gonna do some clearing to help overcome imposter syndrome. 
and get clear about your emotional story. One of the best things you can do, it can be a little painful at first, but when you start getting clear about your emotional story, oh, your life changes in such a positive way. And I am here to say, I'm so grateful that I've done that. Mm -hmm. Yes, definitely. So Jason, you ready? Yep, here, here we, we go. go. Um, I direct all my resources in all dimensions to eliminate the barriers so I can see the benefit to clearing my shame and unworthiness to um, get rid of the imposter syndrome. Nice. Take, Take a, a breath. breath and blow it into that processor. <laughs> if, you, if, you don't, if you don't have a picture of the processor in your mind, blow it into a trash can right. or an imaginary trash can. Right. Oh, excuse me, everyone. Um, by the way, that's usually a lot of negative energy if I start yawning when I'm Doing, you know, we've never really talked about that, yeah. have we? When when we're doing clearing, if you start yawning a lot, it's because it's an indicator. It's an indicator that you're removing a lot of negative energy, and that is positive. So, yes. with that said, and to eliminate the false belief and fear I have that I have to continuously prove myself to have confidence, Jason. No. <laughs> no. <laughs> Very good. Um, take a nice breath, everyone. And blow it out. And to eliminate the feelings of anger, hate, rage, and bitterness that I have because I feel like an imposter mm -hmm. or I was made to feel like an imposter. Yes. Take a breath. And to eliminate any feelings of fear, hurt, and shame that says, I fight but actually makes me more of an imposter. You know, can we give an example of that, Jason? Do we have an example? Um, um, the well, well, when you when no one's calling on you, if if you're at work and you're a person of color and no one's and you feel like, hey, I don't know why I'm here. Okay. And, and maybe it's just a tone of voice that people talk to you Ooh, with, yeah, or okay. maybe it's it's they they don't acknowledge you when you pass by in the hall or right. things like that. Right. You know. Um, um, you fight that. You get angry. You get you get oh, bitter. Oh, angry and bitter. Oh, okay. and that doesn't help it. Yeah, that doesn't help in here. Yeah. So know, that's why we're clearing it. Let's say that one again. And to eliminate the feelings of anger, hate, rage, and bitterness that I have, um, because I feel like an imposter. Take a breath. And to eliminate my any feelings of fear, hurt, and shame that I fight with in myself mm. that actually makes me more of an imposter. Got it, got it, take a breath. Don't fight it, just clear it. Exactly, and to eliminate the barriers so I can clear my feelings of being an imposter as well as the shame and unworthiness that goes right along with it. Take a nice breath, everyone. And to eliminate um, the veils and illusions so I can see that all areas of my life, I can have shame and I need to clear it. It's yeah. not just maybe at work. It's not just at home. Right. Everywhere. Exactly. And I guarantee you, Linda Ronstead, you know, she didn't think she was a good singer, but I guarantee you there's things that she thought about yes. that, that um, she likewise had that feeling about herself in other areas of her life, even exactly. though we just don't know it. Take a breath, everyone. Get rid of the uh, imposter, the shame and the unworthiness. And to eliminate the veils and illusions so I can see all areas of my life um, can have shame and I need to clear it. We were just talking about that. Take a breath. And to eliminate the feelings of fear and terror of being embarrassed or mm, criticized, big one. Um, even if it doesn't make sense. Yes. Take a breath. You might be at the top of your game, but you still might be afraid that you're doing something wrong right. or that you're going to be embarrassed or criticized. Exactly. So just clear it. Yes. Um, and to eliminate all the hurt and depression I already have because I feel like an imposter. Take a breath. And to eliminate um, any anger I have about being discredited and pushed mm. aside because I don't act like what is expected. Ooh. So just take that anger and depression mm -hmm. and clear it. Yeah. So then you can have authentic confidence. And yeah. then, you know, Good if one. you're pushed aside, then you can stand up to that pushback. 
exactly without anger bitterness or an attitude yes um the best way to get a point across is not have an attitude but is to know who you are so and to eliminate um my feelings of resistance and bitterness that keeps me stuck as an imposter absolutely take a breath you don't need it and you know what start at the tips of your toes right now and throw all that negative energy into that processor and to eliminate the false belief that acting and creating illusions about myself can overcome the feelings of being an imposter. No, no. you can't fake it till you make it or no. act as if. No. Nope. You have to change the energy. So yes. gather up the false Good. belief and throw that into the processor. And to eliminate any thinking that says, I can talk myself out of feeling um, like an imposter or acting like an imposter when the truth is, no, not really. Take a breath. Hmm. And to eliminate the barriers to my clarity so I can see that my emotional story and how it connects um, and see my emotional story and how it connects with my feelings of shame, unworthiness, and imposter syndrome. Good one. Take a breath. And to eliminate the veils and illusions so I can see clearing my shame and unworthiness is the way to my true confidence. Take a breath. By the way, that confidence is sustainable and it lasts and you don't have to motivate yourself. You don't no, have, it's, to, it's have amazing. to crank it up exactly. every once in a while. Exactly. It just, it's just there. Yeah. And it, that's really nice. It really, really is. So um, Jason, let's activate life force. Okay. So um, I'm going to start it and we're going to go from there. I direct all my resources in all dimensions to activate life force. So I can have hope for confidence that um, comes from my essence mm. that has been restored. Love it. Nice and easy. Pull that in. That's that confidence and the hope. And blow out any negative energy that's blocking you from the confidence and the hope. And to activate life force so I can trust that my cleared essence is the source of unlimited and sustainable confidence. Take a breath. And to activate life force so I can decide to use the ecosystem approach to reveal my emotional story and develop confidence. Confidence within myself and the knowing that was my story. Now I can go forward and do better in my life. Take a breath. And to activate life force so I can be happy and healthy have clarity, awareness, and objectivity, creativity, um, confidence, um, and um, great health, and have fun and laughter and love <laughs> in my life starting today. How about, and the love of myself today. Take a nice breath, activate life force, let it come in through the top of your head, let it go all the way down your body, stop it right there. Any negative energies left over, blow it out. Throw that into the processor or garbage can. Yeah, having imposter syndrome in a relationship oh. creates a barrier, and it and it and it and it hurts intimacy. It hurts, um, it hurts connection, yes. and it hurts just feeling good about the other person. Yes, and we're seeing a lot of that. You know, gray divorce and things like that. Yes, oh my people gosh, people are, are coming out of the pandemic and say. I don't like that person. I was, you know, <laughs> I, you know, I, I, you know I, I have to say this. I had in one week and I'm guessing we were in the pandemic, maybe about six months, but in the same week, which I thought was rather interesting. I had several of my clients say to me, I don't like him. Oh, I don't like her. <laughs> and it was like, okay, let's, you know, and it, it was, that was very, very, very interesting. So um, anyway, with so, the, so get rid of the energy of imposter syndrome so you can feel better about, about you or you and then feel better about the person you're with, or maybe decide that no, it's someone, not, you know, you know, it's not someone else. Yeah, exactly. So Jason, what are we going to talk about next week? So next week, we're taking um, um, the day off as 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 is um, Olivia and a lot of the staff at, yes. at Transformation Talk Radio. So we pre recorded that show. Yes. Um, it's about stories 20 years of doing this work as intuitives 
and we have lots of stories. OMG, there's, there's a lots of stories. So we had fun doing this one. Uh -huh. um, it's it's it was really easy for us. Yes. And so um, um, be sure and listen to that one. Even if you can't listen at a normal time when right. it's when it's live, right. listen to the re recorded version. So, um, you know, if this touched you today, mm -hmm. if this show about imposter syndrome, if something is inside of you saying, oh my gosh, I'm in pain. Oh my gosh, it hurts. Mm -hmm. You know, I wish it wasn't me. It, maybe, maybe it's not your fault. Maybe you know it's not your fault, but you still feel that way. Right. It changing the energy works. We've been doing this for 20 years. We've created the ecosystem approach because we know changing the energy works. works. That's right. So, and that's what this is all about. So how do you, how, how do you start? Okay. So how do you get started? Wait a minute, Jason, how do you get started with the ecosystem approach? So um, listen to our show every week. Yeah. You know, whether you watch it on Facebook Live or you watch the recorded version of face mm -hmm. that's on Facebook Live. Um, that comes out as a video or yes. you listen to it. Um, we're, we're on, not only can you listen to it um, from our website, there's a little widget in there, the ecosystemapproach.org. It says okay. radio show. You can listen from there. You can, um, it's on Apple podcasts also. Oh, it's on Spotify. I it's, okay. That's it, right. There's, oh, okay. there's all these other platforms yes. that you can find it. So but, whichever one works for you, you know, the, the place to go is our website, the ecosystemapproach.org. Sign up for that, for the free section mm -hmm. and get our weekly newsletter because there's something special with that. Right. You know, we go through the clearings really quickly, but when they're written out in front of you, all oh. the words that you have to say, the a picture of the processor is right there. Exactly. And we give that to you every week. Right. And it's free. Exactly. And we also give a little bit of the backstory for that particular right. topic, whether right. it's a story about me or a story about you. Right. Um, um, it's it's kind of adds to the topic and it's just really short. Right. Um, and people love it. And right. So so do that. So if you're if you want to get connected, start right now. Um, go to our Facebook page, the ecosystemapproach.org mm -hmm. on Facebook and go like us, go uh, watch some of those videos and um, um, have fun with this. Right. Okay. And um, I do want to say one thing. I want to thank Olivia for all her help that she's given us. And she's um, our producer on the other she's side. She's producer. the one that you don't yes. see. Exactly. But she's doing a lot of work. So thank you, Olivia. We'll connect next Monday at 1 p.m. Pacific and 4 p.m. Eastern time. This is Transformation Talk Radio, and you're listening to the Ecosystem Approach Show with Jason and Patricia. Remember, your ecosystem is the most important one in the world. Thank you for listening to the Ecosystem Approach Show with Jason and Patricia. I'm Patricia. Tune in every week as we discuss practical ways to apply the ecosystem approach and develop your potential to live your life on your terms. For more information, visit our website at theecosystemapproach.org.